Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you doing well and know that you're amazing, you are worth it, and that you matter. So I wanted to do another drawing video, I haven't done one of these in a while, and um, I came up with a way to make it a little bit more engaging and hopefully a little bit more interesting for you guys. So um, yeah, let's just get started and I hope you guys enjoy. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim of suicidal mania. Sebastian Stan. If you've been in the internet or social media scene for a while, or are a fan of the Marvel film franchise, you're more than likely to have heard this name before. Best known for his role as Bucky Barnes or the Winter Soldier in the Marvel movies, Sebastian Stan has a vastly growing fan base all across the world. Fans love him for his remarkable acting skills, including being able to portray the most intense emotion with very little words, as we saw in Captain America The Winter Soldier. Other community favorites are his roles in Political Animals, Once Upon a Time, Kings, The Bronze, The Martian, and the list goes on. It is evident that, despite a humble beginning of movies that didn't do so well, he is making his climb to the top and is loved by so many. Sebastian was born on August 13th, 1982 in Constanta, Romania, and his parents divorced when he was only two years years old. Following the Romanian Revolution, him and his mother moved to Vienna, Austria, where his mother was employed as a pianist. Then, after his mother remarried four years later, they moved to Rockland County, New York. Sebastian became an official U.S. citizen in 2002. During the time that Sebastian attended the Rockland School, he starred in some small productions, some of which included A Little Shop of Horrors and West Side Story. But it was only after he attended Stage Door Manor Summer Camp that he decided to take acting seriously. He applied to various acting programs and even had the the opportunity to study abroad at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre in London, England. After landing several film and television roles such as The Covenant and Gossip Girl, he got a lead role in the 2009 series Kings. After that, he had a steady stream of different movies, thriller, horror, comedy, and other genres alike, before finally signing a nine-picture contract with Marvel as Bucky Barnes. All this time, he's been nominated for multiple awards for his stellar acting, and millions of fans follow his career, wondering when his next movie will come out with highest expectations. But let's move away from all the acting stuff for a moment. It's not just his phenomenal talent that people love so much about him. While that is a big part, no, Sebastian is so much more than just another actor. There are countless reports and stories of him going out of his way to make his fans happy. He is one of the few celebrities that encourages fun and outrageous poses at his photo ops to make sure each person walks away with a great experience to share. He never fails to make fans smile with his relatable antics and wonderful sense of humor, and he definitely makes you want to just hang out with him for a day and listen to him talk. He is so passionate about what he does and the things that he loves, and he captures the hearts of thousands when he posts a new Instagram photo. He is so loving and kind, to the point of running off the stage at a comic convention Q&A when a girl had trouble asking him her question and giving her a hug. I see stories almost every day all over social medias where people thank him for helping them through dark times and making them smile. But this brings me to the main question of this video. Why do I like Sebastian Stan? What made him jump to the top of my list of celebrities I want to meet? Was it his phenomenal acting skills, the type of movies and shows he starred in, or his interactions with fans? The answer is both all of these and none of them. See, about three years ago, I started watching this show called Once Upon a Time, and being the huge fan of Alice in Wonderland that I am, I fell in love with Jefferson. His character was the show's version of the Mad Hatter, my favorite character from the classic story. Sebastian's acting as him was incredible, but I didn't realize who he was. I had seen the first Captain America movie before, but didn't realize that Sebastian was the same actor in both cases. It was his role as Jefferson that opened my eyes to his other works, and through that, I fell in love with his acting. But the reason I appreciate him so much is the fact that I've met an amazing person through being his fan. After starting to watch Once Upon a Time, I started an edits account on Instagram where I posted fun photo edits from the show. It got to over 2,000 followers before I stopped with it, but during that time I made many incredible and lasting friendships. One of those people is Tori. Me and her connected over a similar love for Jefferson, and she followed my edits account. After that, she would frequently comment on my posts and eventually we talked more often via direct messages and things like that. Before we knew it, we were fast friends in a little group we called the Avenging Angels. We swapped numbers and texted often via WhatsApp with two other girls and it was amazing. 
But then through some unfortunate events, our little group broke up and it was just me and Tori left. But that experience brought us closer together and now we hardly go a day without talking to each other. She's been there through a lot of my dark moments and she was always there when I needed to vent and still is even though my venting has become less frequent. We got to know each other even better and now I can't imagine my life without her in it. It sucks that we live so far away, she's in Vegas and I'm in Canada. But this year in April, we finally had the amazing opportunity to meet in person and do some traveling together, as well as watch our favorite episodes of Once Upon a Time with Jefferson in them and uh, watch Captain America Winter Soldier. So yeah, long story short, Sebastian brought me to one of my best friends, someone who is most like me than anyone else in my life. She's basically my sister from another mister, and it's hard to imagine a point in my life where she wasn't in it. So in honor of Sebastian's birthday coming up, I just want to thank him. Not only for what he's done for me, but what he's done for countless others. I know there are many people out there with a similar story to mine and Tori's, and it makes me so happy to be a part of this community. Happy birthday, Sebastian. I really hope you liked this art if you get a chance to see this video sometime, and I hope that your birthday is as wonderful as you are. Love from a forever fan. And I'll go.